guys and welcome to 2018. I'm sitting here at the FAA. Uh, I'm outside waiting for everyone to get here and we're going to be taking our FAA part 107 test today. I'm really excited, also very nervous. I've studied for like 20 hours for this test in the past like four or five days. Stayed up all night last night, took a practice test this morning, did great. Um, so yeah, we should do great, but that does not stop me from being extremely nervous. I lost five pounds yesterday. I didn't eat all day. And it, it was a mix of me being nervous. It was a mix of me having like eight shots of vodka on New Year's Eve. And uh, I don't know. I almost think that I had a stomach virus or something like that. But uh, I feel good about this test, but it, you can't, you, even if you feel good about a test like this, it's $150 to take it. So it makes you nervous. But uh, yeah, guys, we're gonna pass this test. Hopefully the next thing that you see on the vlog is gonna be me holding my certificate and being really happy because that's gonna, that's gonna really change my life. So thank you guys for all the support over the years. 2018 is going to be amazing and I, I can't wait to show you guys this certificate and uh, hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I passed, I passed the test. That was very nerve wracking. And I, I was, I waited like, so you, you can, <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind of stuttery. You have two hours to take this test, right? And I spent all two hours. I literally waited until there were 30 seconds left to submit the test because I was so freaking nervous. A lot of the questions were so much different from a lot of the practice questions that I've experienced in the past couple of days. And so it just really threw me off in the way they're written. It's just like the test is designed to really throw you off your game. And they really want you to understand the concepts and not just the questions and the answers. And so it's, it's pretty difficult. It's a test that's very, very similar, almost just like the FAA private pilot's test, which is crazy that I just took a test that was similar to the private pilot's test, which is the part 107 test, part 107 FAA test. I'm now a certified drone operator, C certified. I was gonna say something cheesy, but nah. Just gotta do some internet stuff, get it in the system, so hopefully by like Friday, we'll be fully in the system, FAA. I'm, I'll be in the FAA. Database. That's pretty cool. I have to register with the DMV too. I don't. I don't know why they do that, but yeah. And I have to take another little quiz on the computer about that. Why is the truck whining like that? But yeah, guys, I'm so freaking excited. I passed the test. Oh my god. I studied for four days for this. Four days. I do not recommend it. I recommend if you guys are wanting to get your 107 certificate, you, you want to pass that test, that you study for a couple weeks because I don't think. I don't think, it's it's just not a good idea to do what I did, but I was in a hurry, and that's kind of my style, so I passed the test after four days of studying, but yeah, I love you guys, I'm about to go back to Gastonia, probably work out, maybe get something to eat, I'll take you guys with me, this is awesome, big things are coming, I love you guys. All right, guys, we're gonna try this new Quest protein cookie. I'll let you guys know what I think. We got 15 grams of protein, three grams of sugar, 12 grams of fiber, 14 grams of fat, and 25 carbohydrates. Not too bad macros for a small little cookie there. All right, guys, Quest oatmeal raisin cookie taste test. Yeah, it's basically a Quest bar, but in the form of a cookie. I'm gonna give this cookie a solid 6.9 out of 10. But hey guys, the macros are lit. Look at that little baby over there. That's freaking adorable. All right guys, so after eating this entire cookie, it's not that good. Good macros, but it does not taste good. Nothing, nothing compared to the complete cookie. Mm. I've just never had a protein cookie that beat the complete cookie. They're just good. They're they just good. crazy thing guys even though I've already taken that test I've done all that stuff I still have to go on the computer 
sign up to like a couple of websites, do a bunch of other stuff, and it's gonna take like weeks for my certificate to get here, but I'll have like a temporary certificate that I can print out, which I don't have a printer, so we'll figure that one out. But yeah, guys, get your remote private pilot 107 certificate. You have to study a lot, about two weeks, take the 107 part 107 test, pass it with at least a 70, which means you can't get any more than 18 wrong, I think. I think you can get 18 wrong. I got 13 wrong. I got a 78 to pass the test. But now I've got to fill out a bunch of information on the FAA website, pretty much put myself out there, register myself on the FAA, and even the DMV has to know that I'm flying commercially. Alright guys, it's the next day and I'm about to meet up with my new business partner, so really, really excited to meet this person. I'll tell you guys more about this as things kind of go on. I don't want to say too much just yet because it's really early on, but in the future, I'll let you guys know what I'm... Alright guys, it's really freaking cold outside, but we're about to get some practice runs in with the drone for some stuff that I'm doing Friday, so I just got to make sure this guy's running okay, so yeah, thumbnail time. I don't know. I, I, like, I had this idea of me being like shirtless, like this with the drone, just with my hands out open, but I would literally die. Like, I just got over a sickness and I'm not about to do that again. Like, I know that'd be a cool thumbnail. You guys would probably click it because I'm like shirtless in the cold with a drone. That'd be an interesting thing to do. I'm not, I'm not about that life right now. I just learned something new about droning. Droning. So, today it is 32 degrees outside. You cannot leave your drone in the car for an hour, go into a coffee shop, hang out, come back, take your drone out of the car, and try to fly it because the battery will be too cold. It took me about 20 minutes to warm the battery up, and then once it was flying, it's fine. So once it's up in the air and it's flying, the battery's gonna warm itself and stay warm. But if your battery is in a cold car when it's cold outside or your battery is left in the cold, it's going to take you 20 to 30 minutes to get that battery warm. Then you're going to be able to fly. So just a side note for anyone that flies drones, specifically Phantom drones. I've got a Phantom 3 standard currently. You can't let your battery get really cold. If you're going to be shooting something in the cold, I would suggest wrapping your battery in a blanket like a small child or just keeping it in your pants. a couple things to you guys. Number one, if you're looking to get your drone flying certification to fly your drone commercially under the 107 FAA, I suggest you study for at least two weeks. It is very difficult. Uh, it was very stressful for me taking it because I only studied for four days, but that's just me and I, I, I just kind of like to dive into things and study really quickly and kind of get it to sink into my head. I studied for over 20 hours in four days. Went and took the test, passed it with a 78. Three things to think about when you're taking the test. Number one, you need to really memorize sectional charts. You really need to do your research on the maps and just understand all the symbols and what means what. 
look at Miatars. J just guys, you need to understand the FAA lingo and the charts and all the symbols that they use. And if you do all that and you have some common sense, you'll pass the test. All right, I want to know a couple other things. What have you guys accomplished so far in 2018? It's January 4th. I've hit a couple PRs at the gym. I've gotten my FAA Part 107 certification and I'm working on a lot of other things. Um, I'm technically starting a new business that, that will be starting tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be my first taste of this new business. So starting a new business, hit multiple PRs, got big plans in January, February. I'm going to be buying some new film equipment. I'm going to be shooting a really cool, really cinematic video of myself and my story very, very soon. I have a lot in store for you guys in 2018. So what I want to see you guys do is go after your goals, whether they're physical, fitness goals or just in general life goals. I want to see you guys going after all of your goals. If you're watching me, if you're watching my channel, go after your goals. I don't want you guys to watch me and just say, I need to be motivated like Jordan. I need to be motivated like you. I need your motivation. Well, here you go. I'm giving you my motivation right now. You are going to die. I don't know when we're all going to die. So why not live a life that we enjoy, live a life that we love, love our body, improve our body, improve our lives, help other people and constantly be moving forward. Why would you want to live a life of stagnation and mediocrity when you can move a life of ever forward and just going upward and having a good time with good people? With that, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this vlog. I love you guys so much. If you like this video, please smack that like button if you like to smack things or click it. If you just like to click things, that's cool too. Comment if you have any questions or concerns. I will wish I will respond. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and ring that bell for notifications from your boy, Jordan. I'll see you guys next time. All love. What is